Radical. It's after 4 a.m. I just got back home. And the plan earlier was to get caught up on some uploads. But a friend of mine called. And him and his girlfriend wanted me to go out with them and help them choose a TV and a stand and set it up in their living room. I thought, not a big deal. It's around 9 o'clock. I figure, go pick out a TV, get a stand. With them helping, you know, we set it up. By midnight, I'll be back. Record me a comment of the day. Not a big deal. Ran into a lot of issues. Not going to go into a lot of the issues that I ran into, but it, it kind of sucked. One thing I want to share with you, though, and I want to share with you because this is a scam that I hear is going around a lot with people setting up their Roku TVs. Now, this was a TCL Roku TV, and if you know anything about Roku TVs, you have to set it up and they give you a four-digit password. And they ask you to go online. So you can't do it, do it through the TV. You have to go to a separate device, a separate online device. I guess if you don't have a separate online device, most people use their phone. I guess you're just SOL, right? Uh, but I went, to, I went to a website and I got a number to call. Because I went to it on my phone. And I tried to put the four digit in there, but it did not take. Maybe it wasn't the official Roku site. I just typed in Roku Activate. So it was the first thing that clicked, uh, popped up on Google. Clicked on that, and I put in the four digit. And it said, cannot process at this time. Please call this number. I called the number. Guy picked up. After a lot of rings, I might add. There wasn't any special music. There wasn't any lady saying, welcome to Roku. None of that. Just a guy picked up. Didn't sound professional at all. He he wasn't Indian. Hello, I may help you. So I know something was up. I knew something was up because he's not Indian, all right? Just sound like a guy like, hey, how can I help you? And I was like, well, I got a Roku TV I'm trying to set up and... Uh, he took a little bit of information, right? I, I think an email, not much more than that. Then this was weird. He says, uh, hold on, can I call you back? I'm like, huh? What? That's not great customer service. Like, when has that ever happened where you call somebody and like, okay, well, I'll call you back. So I'm like, okay. A minute goes by, calls me back. Now, if you pick up your phone, if you pick up your phone really quickly, sometimes... Something happens and it goes to voicemail. So I picked it up uh, and then, you know, went to voicemail. I'm like, oh, my bad, my bad. Well, <laughs> I call him back. I call him back and then he kind of berates me. He's like, you know, what happened? You know, it went to voicemail. I'm like, the cups, what kind of fucking customer service is this? He's like, it went to voicemail. You know, can you set it up? I'll, I'll, I'll call you back in a minute. Can you set it up to where it doesn't go to voicemail? I'm like, okay, so I called this dude back. And then I'm like, what, is there someone else on the fucking line? So I, I play along. I'm like, okay, when you call me back, I'll make sure it doesn't go to voicemail. So by this point, I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm starting to laugh. Like, what the hell's going on here? You know, I'm going to, I'm going to complain. If there's like a survey at the end of this, I'm going to freaking complain. This is some terrible, terrible customer service. Well, he calls back. And then he mentions, okay, good, good. This time, you know, you didn't have a voicemail. I'm about to tear into this motherfucker. I'm about to tear into this motherfucker and give him a radical response. All right. And be like, okay, who the fuck do I talk you talk to? Basically, I'm like, okay, who do I talk to to get your ass fired? All right. You don't need to be working for Roku customer service. But then I ask him, hey, how do I set things up? He gets my, e you know, he had my email and everything. So he... He says something, uh, and he doesn't sound professional throughout all this. It just sounds like I'm talking to like a buddy or something. He doesn't seem professional. So instantly, you know, uh, red flags are going off. Then I ask him, okay, what do I do to get this set up? Because uh, I read online that, you know, it's free to set up and then there's premium channels. And then he, he tells me what I got to do is opt in for, the four year or the five year service plans. I'm like service plans. What the fuck are you talking about service plans for just setting up Roku for setting up my TV. So now I'm thinking like, okay, there's all these people that are buying these Roku TVs and instantly I'm thinking, 
man, that's fucked up. You know, they're having to pay money now to set up, you know, their TV for the internet. What kind of bullshit is this? And I know it's Scam City. At this point, I know it's Scam City. So I play with the guy a little bit. And he says, uh, I think for the four-year plan, it's $50. For the five-year plan, it's $100. And you know what I said to him? You know what I said to him? I said, what can I get for three fifty? He's like, excuse me, about three fifty. Like, like how many days? I know the, the four year, the five year, your packages, but you know what? If I like gave you three fifty, three fifty, and he doesn't, he doesn't get the South Park reference, and then he winds up hanging up on me. So that's how I, I handled that situation. Weird thing was, I tried to call back as a follow up. They're like, okay, okay, okay. How about 10 bucks? What can I get for 10 bucks? But the weird thing was, he didn't answer the phone. He did not answer the phone. Also, it went on forever. Like, it wasn't like any music. Like I said, it wasn't any elevator music. No Roku special music. It's just like, it's just some dude. So, to explain the scam, basically it's uh, people set up their websites, I suppose. You know, it comes up in the search engine. You click on the website. And it says they cannot process your four-digit code, so you got to call this number. And I'm guessing you might, you know, reach this guy. So for shits and giggles, you know, just ask this guy, uh, ask this guy who's uh, who's probably going to, um, well, hopefully, hopefully this guy will get exposed by someone else. Hopefully this guy and the scam will get exposed. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's helpful that I'm telling you all this. But if you set up your Roku TV and you get this and you get a guy that seems to always be wanting to call you back, like he can't talk to you, but call you back, you know, just, uh, you have my permission. Go off on this motherfucker. 